that you said was a great doctor in that video that you retweeted last night said that masks don't work and there is a cure for COVID-19, both of which health experts say is not true. She's also made videos saying that doctors make medicine using DNA from aliens and that they're trying to create a vaccine to make you immune from becoming religious. Well, maybe it's the so, same, maybe it's not, but I, I, can't, I can tell you this. That. She was on air along with many other doctors. They were big fans of hydroxychloroquine. And I thought she was very impressive in the sense that from where she came, I don't know which country she comes from, but she said that she's had tremendous success with hundreds of different patients. And I thought her voice was an important voice, but I know nothing about her. Masks don't work. Yeah, last, last week, you said masks. Last week, well, real quick, last okay. week, you said Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Caitlin, you were asking important questions, uh, uh, and even uh, some of the president's retweets overnight, uh, they were taken off Twitter, for example, because they were suggesting it's, there's no need to wear a mask, and they were suggesting hydroxychloroquine could potentially, quote, cure cure coronavirus when there's absolutely no evidence of that. Well, Wolf, not only that, the video was removed from Twitter, it was removed from Facebook, and it was removed from YouTube. Unfortunately, I've heard it been viewed millions of times, and that's because they said there was misinformation in those videos that were elevated by the president. And the one he was citing, there was a woman in the video, she identifies herself as a doctor, and Wolf, she says that masks do not work, and she says there is a cure for COVID-19. Of course, two things that health experts have said is not true, and so I was asking the president about that. She's also made a host of bizarre other claims, including saying that science Scientists are trying to come up with a vaccine to prevent you from being religious, things of that nature. And so I asked the president what was the logic in elevating a post like that to 84 million followers of his on Twitter. And he was defending it. He was saying that he didn't know where the doctor was from, but he was talking about how she was citing her personal experience with hydroxychloroquine in patients. Though, of course, we don't actually know how that was used or anything like that. That's why the video was removed. But then also, Wolf, by the president retweeting that, it's contradicting what he has said in the last seven days, which is he was saying that people should be wearing masks, that they do work and that they are helpful in stopping the spread of COVID-19. But as I was trying to ask that question, the president turned and left the briefing room. It's not clear why he would retweet something if he wasn't going to defend tweeting that. But it was just a question that many people have because, you know, is he going against the advice of his doctors and instead elevating the opinions of these other people that are not people who work in the administration are not working on the COVID-19 response? And uh, so that was the question that we had for the president.